y'all. Hope everybody's doing well. So I'm out here cooking some good old chicken wings today. It's been a while since I've had some. I was doing a live stream. I think it was the last one and got to talking about chicken wings with a good old wrench, Aaron. <laughs> and he said when it's, when you can't remember the last time you had wings, that means you didn't need to cook wings. <laughs> so wings is what's on the menu tonight or today, whatever. I'll walk y'all out there and show you in a second, but plan on doing some with some of the uh, Miss Renfro's, the uh, ghost pepper uh, barbecue sauce. So I'm gonna either uh, brush some on or I might roll them in afterwards, kind of into the debate phase of what to do with that. So we'll see. I think some family's coming over as well, so they'll get to try it. I don't know if I'll video that. I may just do a afterwards, but we'll see. So I'm gonna go ahead and get some more stuff set up and I'll walk y'all out and let y'all take a look at them. They've been on there for a little bit and I've already rolled them over once. So y'all get to see in a few. So see y'all. Well, alrighty, let's go look at these. So I'm running about, let's see. Right out about 275, so. Give a look at them. Did y'all see them? Looking really good. Of course, you use good old Uncle Steve's shake on them. So, let these go a little longer. I'll check them with my pen to see how they're doing. And then either sauce them up or roll them in afterwards. So, see y'all. Alrighty, folks. I just decided to sauce half of them and then just leave the rest of them with the Uncle Steve. So, let that sauce set up and we'll go from there. All right, there, everybody. Back with you here. Do a little post um, chowing down review. <laughs> yeah, you know, I was cooking up the old wings there. Thanks to Aaron, the wrench, for giving this suggestion to make them <laughs> since it's been so long since I've had them. That means you need to have wings. <laughs> so, I thought that was a very very good point that you need to need to eat wings if you can't remember the last time you had them. So easy with the wings. I didn't show up, but they were full wings, so I cut off the little wing tips and then split my flats and my drumettes. Then once I had them separated, I just seasoned them off good with my Uncle Steve shake, the Gator shake. Put it all over them good, and then put them back in the fridge. And they sat in the fridge for about an hour. That way, they gotta let that season in here good and kind of drop that skin a little bit more. And uh, season them up. Let them sit in the fridge for an hour, so that seasoning will adhere to them well. And while that was going on, I had my smoker up and running getting it uh, heated up and getting my coals, getting started, let off my coal, the uh, charcoal in my charcoal chimney. Then once it was going and dumped it in the charcoal basket, threw in a uh, few chunks of my apple wood and uh, put on the wings and just let them go. And they smoked at 275, as you saw in that clip. And I ran them that way for maybe Probably at 45 minutes or so, total cook time, and I was checking them periodically with my little Javelin Pro to see where I was at temp-wise, and once I was right at temp, I sauced a few of them with the Mrs. Renfro's ghost pepper barbecue sauce, and it was, it was good. <laughs> um, it's, it's warm for sure, but, uh, it's a manageable heat and it tastes good enough where you can kind of get away with having the heat so because it's not just punishing heat. It's like I say, spice that's nice. And it smelled really good. As soon as I'd opened it up and I got a good whiff of it, it's, it's just that sweet, rich barbecue sauce that you know, that smell that you get. And it was good. I just brushed it on, let it tack up, and 
cooked it off and uh, it was probably five, 10 minutes before it got tacked on up. And, and then we chow down and there's that many loaves. <laughs> we went through them pretty fast. One of my little nieces, she was, she was tearing it up. <laughs> Not the hot ones, but just the ones that were just regular smoke with Uncle Steve's. That's a chicken. Ain't hot. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but when you taste, you be like. <laughs> <laughs> so I know next time I need to cook more wings because <laughs> they were they were good. I really enjoy it. Did enjoy it. Enjoyed cooking it and getting it and shared it with folks as well, especially family. Wish I was sharing it with y'all too. But if you get a chance, if you looking at Mr. Renfro's uh, barbecue sauce there, the ghost pepper one, if you like a little spice that's nice, I'd say jump on it and try it out. It's good. And then of course, if you never had Uncle Steve's, hey, jump on that one too, because it's, it's good stuff. Uh, you'll be really pleased with it. He's got a lot of different varieties too. New ones coming up all the time, seems like. So try him out. He's a good guy too. So thank y'all so much for watching, sticking with me here through this. Um, I really do appreciate it. Hope, hope you enjoyed it and got enjoyment out of it as I did getting to do it for you. So y'all like, share, and subscribe if you want to, if you haven't already. If you do, hey, welcome on in to the Head to Tail family. We, we love you and welcome on in. So thank you again, and I'll catch y'all on the next one. Oh, and I almost forgot a little interjection here at the end. Um, right when I was starting to cook and getting to going, uh, I heard somebody say, I like your smoker. And I was like, what? I wasn't sure who it was. And then I realized there's a, gentleman in his truck there pulled up by the office and they got out and we got to chatting for a while about food and the old Bronco Pro and uh, talked with a sweet lady that was with him as well. So it was fun to get to talk to them, handed them some good old head to tail barbecue cards. Hopefully, Lord willing, y'all are subscribed now. And if you are, hey, welcome on in. And hey, it was a real pleasure talking to you. Thank you for spend the time with me just talking about food and talking about cooking because I enjoy it and that's what this channel is about so thank y'all again if you subscribe now welcome on in thank y'all again for um listening to me ramble on right now so <laughs> see y'all